Hello, my name is Jack Walsh, and I would like to tell my quilt story for the Known and Unknown Quilt Exhibition. This is the story of Rio Hondo, a quilt in my collection that got lost and came home. The quilt dimensions are 46 inches to 60 inches. It was created by Katie Pasquini Massapust, and it was completed in 1994 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I bought the quilt from Katie in 1995, within a year of when it was made. But at that point in time, it was promised to an exhibition. So I had to wait until the exhibition was over to receive the quilt. When the exhibition was over, instead of the quilt, I received an empty box, somewhat torn, with just some sheets of pages of a magazine in it. So I called up the exhibitor and asked them, told them I was trying to trace the quilt. And they said, well, uh, they didn't know what had happened, uh, but that they had shipped the quilt to me. And they did send me their shipping records. And as soon as I saw them, I realized something was wrong because the weight of the box that I received was four pounds. The quilt weighed seven pounds. The total package should have been 11 but their records showed that they had shipped me a box weighing four pounds. So I called them up and pointed it out and they said, well, no, that, the reason for that was that the shipping clerk had leaned the box up against the wall. And so only part of the weight was on the scale. And I said, well, I'm an engineer and I can tell you if more than half of the weight of the box is off the scale, the box is going to fall off the scale. So they called me back a day or two later and said, well, they've done further investigations and they have finally figured out what had happened. They had a override button for their scale that weighed the quilt or weighed all their boxes. And if they had several boxes of the same weight going out, they could push that button and it would just print out a bunch of shipping labels for all the boxes with the same weight. And what had happened was uh, unfortunately, accidentally the shipping clerk had bumped that button and so um, my box had gotten the weight of another box and I said well that sounds very interesting but when I look at your records neither the weight of the box before my box nor the weight of the box after the, my box weighed four pounds so where did the four pounds come from and at that point in time I began to get a little suspicious I didn't know what to do but I had recently been to a family wedding where I'd met the cousin of my sister-in-law and she and the and the cousin had retired uh, recently as head of the FBI offices in San Francisco and Las Vegas. So I called up uh, the man. His name was Dean, and I said, "Here's my problem. What should I do?" And he said, "Well, he said maybe we can get the FBI to look for it." I thought that was interesting. Uh, he said, "Yes, call the FBI office nearest the, where the exhibitor is located, and talk to them." So I called up the FBI office and unknown to me, shortly before this happened, the FBI had decided to add art theft to the list of cases, that types of cases it would investigate. And so the manager of the uh, office that I had, was speaking to said, yes, we'll take this on as a training assignment. And they did exactly what I wanted them to do which was to go into the exhibitor and wave the FBI badges around and say, we're looking for Rio Hondo, hoping that if somebody had taken it, that they would want to dump it because uh, it would be too hot for them. Now, I don't know whether that's what happened or not, but six months later, the quilt uh, showed up in a box of, salv of, of salvage uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, 600 miles from where the exhibitor was located. On the back, the artist had, shipped, had stitched her name, Katie Pasquini Mazepus, and her, home address, her hometown of Santa Fe. And so the company that had bought the salvage, the salvage uh, called up Katie and said, we've got the quilt. And Katie called me, and so then I made a couple of calls. The first call I made was to the FBI and told them I know where the quilt is, and they said, look, we think you should 
try to arrange to get it back on your own because we found that that works better when two parties do that, the, the owner and the person who has it. But if you don't get progress made in 24 hours, call us and we will go in. So I called back the owner of the salvage company and he said, well, well we like to get 20% of the value for anything that we have. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a hundred dollars. And he said, fine. He said, but there's one thing you need to know. And that is you'll have to pay 6% sales tax. So the quilt was sent back to me. And one place, there was a small splotch of what looked like ketchup. And in another place, there was a small dab of mustard. And so I sent the quilt back, which looked like it had been on a picnic. Uh, to Katie, and she fortunately had scraps of fabric left to match the, the stained fabric. I cut out the original fabric, put in the new fabric, and made it like new, and shipped it back to me. And that is how Rio Hondo finally, got, finally came home. <laughs>